welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to be showing you how to sew invisible zip that zip is a quite a challenging zip for some people this is the zip invisible zip so i'm in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to sew invisible zip this is how the back looks like and this is how the front looks like so i'm going to be showing you how to attach this to a simple dress that i'm making so already i have prepared the back of the dress already i'm just going to quickly show you what i have done so this is the back of the dress as you can see i have stitched the zip allowance together this is the neck section the shoulder this is the zip allowance i turned it with the lining so this is his allowance for the zip so i've stitched it together stitching it together like this is good it makes sewing the zip very easy so that's why i always tend to sew it close like this because it's much easier to sew the zip on not everybody does just like this but this is the method i use because it's an easy method so you just sew the zip allowance together make sure you already had zip allowance to your dress so i've already gone ahead and sewed the allowance together as you can see if you open it you see it's opened out flat if you close it you can see the wrong side of the fabric so i'm just going to take this what i will do i've changed my machine foot to a zipper foot already so i'm just going to open the zip the invisible zip i'm going to open it completely out and then i will take one end the right side of the zip will be facing the right side of the fabric just the way i showed you how to sew a normal zip let me bring the camera down so you can see properly so the right side this is the right let me zip it again so you see it properly let me zip it this is the right side of the zip this is the wrong side of the zip the right side of the zip is going to be facing the right side of the fabric you know when you the fabric when you sew the zip allowance together you see the wrong side but when you open the zip allowance just the way i'm opening it when you open it out see that is the right side of the fabric so the right side of the zip is going to go on top of the right side but you need to zip the zip zip it opened when you zip it open you want all the whole fabric the whole dress to be on one side you only want to work with the zip allowance if you do it like this you are going to sew it on top of the dress so you have to you have to let me just see you have to separate the zip allowance from the dress that is the dress over there this two here is the zip allowance so you see i've separated it so i'm going to be working with this one first then later i will come to the side of the zip okay let's get sewing just moving my camera so you can see the machine okay also i have changed my machine foot i'm using industrial machine this is a single industrial machine um in case you're not using industrial machine just change your zipper foot on your domestic machine the domestic machine is those small the small white machines they are called domestic machine in uk i don't know what they are called somewhere else so you just put your i bring the camera much closer because i really want you to see it so what i've done here is i've put my needle on the mouth of the zip this is the mouth you see invisible zip coils in 
So what you want to do when you are sewing it, you want to open it. When you are sewing it, you want to open the teeth out. So the thread can go into there. If you do it correctly, when you finish, you will see it will actually hide itself. That's why it's called invisible zip. So what you do is that as you are sewing, you have to open the teeth. Some people iron the, the they iron the zip out first, but I don't iron it. I just use my hand to open it. So you open it as you sew. As you are sewing, you open it. Open the mouth of the zip. Open the mouth of the zip. Don't sew on top of the zip teeth. Just open it. Open it. See, it's coiled. So you push it open. See? Push it open. Just sew it all the way to the done, to where you want the zip to end. Keep opening it. If you want, you can iron it out if you think that will be easy for you to work with. If you think it's going to be easy for you to work with, then you can take this the zip to the iron and iron this opened iron this part that i'm opening now iron it flat before you sew it that's another way of making it easier as well so you can iron it if you want so you just keep sewing till you get to the end of the zip So when you get to the end of the zip, you backstitch. Backstitching means reverse. You, you sew on reverse. Just like what I'm going to do now. Sew on reverse. So I finished one part now. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to sew the other part, which is this part. I'm going to sew it to this other part here. So what I do is, I'm going to turn the fabric this way. Normally this foot comes in two parts. There's a left foot and a right foot. But I only have just this one foot. So what I do is I turn the fabric the other way. Turn the dress or the fabric or skirt, whatever you are sewing the zip on. If you are using an industrial machine. If you are using a domestic machine, it normally has like a two mat. I don't know if I have anyone to show you here. It has like a two mat. So what you do is that you just move the needle to the next mat. I don't think I have any. I don't have any domestic machine um, zipper foot to show you. Maybe next time I will show you one. So now I've turned the dress round because I only got just this one foot. In my studio stroke shop. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to open it out. I'm going to open it out while I sew the same way as I say. Or you can iron it if that is going to be easy for you to do. You can iron it out. Just make sure you sew as close as possible to the teeth, to the zipper teeth. As close as possible. Sometimes it's a bit difficult to sew as closed because you want to try avoid sewing on the teeth. This is the teeth I'm touching here. So that's why you need to roll it. You need to like spread it open or iron it out. So you need to sew as close as possible to it. Don't sew on top of it. If not, it won't zip when you finish. So 
So you just sew it to the end until you get to the end. Okay, so I'm nearly getting to the end. As you can see, I'm opening it as I'm sewing. And another thing I am doing, I am sewing close to the stitch, the zip uh, allowance, the zip allowance where I stitch it close. I'm sewing close to it as well. So the zip can hide itself at least. Even if it doesn't hide itself completely, at least it will hide itself a bit. So open the zip, the mat of the zip, roll it out. Okay, I've come to the end of it as you can see. So what I'm going to do now I'm going to open it up. I'm going to open it. I'm going to open the zipper, the zip allowance. I'm going to open it out. So I'm going to open it. I'm going to be using my my seam ripper. This seam ripper has a cover. This is the cover. It's very nice, very useful. Very useful, very nice. So I'm going to open. You know, I've stitched the zip allowance together. Remember, I stitched it together before I sew the zip on it. And at a point here. At a point here, I, I marked where I want the zip to end. So I backstitch it. Backstitch is like the reverse stitch. So I backstitch it first before I sew the zip on. So now I'm going to be losing the allowance. But I'm not going to be losing this backstitch because that's what is securing the um, two backs together. So I'm just going to lose the zip. So you can see how it looks like. Let me lose it quickly. Okay. Be careful. Don't do what I'm doing so you don't rip your dress. Careful when you are losing it. You don't want to rip the dress. I'm just losing the zip allowance that I stitched together as I say be careful okay so I've loosed it out and I went to iron iron it a bit so the next thing is the top here I'm just going to fold it down that's what I normally do. I just fold the top down. I look, the top. The zip allowance is open flat now. I just take the top here and I fold it down. Fold it down. Take the zip allowance, turn it to the back. And then I just make a stitch. A tacking stitch on top. Just to hold that place down. Just a tacking stitch to hold it down. So I'm still using my zipper foot to do that. You can also use this zipper foot if you are using industrial machine. You can use this zipper foot to sew as well. It's not only for zipper. It's not only for zips. You can use it to sew. Like if you are sewing fabric with stones and beads, it's very good for it as well. It's 
sometimes it's called zipper foot sometimes it's called open toe foot so it all depends on what you call it so i'll do the same to the other end as well fold it down and then it's just so a tacking stitch just to hold it down oops my thread is gone So you can see I just made a tacking stitch done. Okay, so I've lost the allowance open as you can see. I've lost it opened. So now, if you look at the inside, you can see that the zip puller is inside there. So what I do is that you can see, look at the zip puller over here. So what I do is I take it because it's very small and I push it through the little space that is there I just push it through it push it through the little space that is there you see and I pull it out can you see that I've pulled it out so now I'm going to zip it so you can see how it looks like I move the camera slightly so you can see Okay, so I'm going to zip it so you see how it looks like. I'm just removing the threads. Okay. So this is it here. This is the beginning of the that's the beginning of the zip if you can see it. That's the beginning of the zip. So now I zip it. See I'm zipping it to the end. There. So I've zipped it to the end. If you like, you can undo the tacking if you think it doesn't look okay. You can remove the tacking, but I just to hold the zip um, SS down. So you can see this is it now. You see that you cannot see, you can't see the zip. If you sew it properly, the zip will be hidden. That's why it's called invisible zip. The only thing you can see is the puller. And in some case, you can't even see the puller if you use the, the same color as the fabric. In some case, you can't even see the puller. So, this is it, guys. That's my invisible zip. So you can see, you can't see it. Normally, if you saw it correctly, this is exactly how it should look like. That's why it's called invisible zip because it's hidden. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope to see you all in my next video. Thanks for your support. Thanks for always coming back to watch my content. God bless you all. Love you all. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye.